And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, good afternoon and happy Monday to everybody out there. Shaping up to be a lot warmer of a day than what we saw this previous weekend. Lots of sunshine for the first half of the day, but we'll see some more clouds filter in for the second half of the day. Now, these rain chances that are going to come later in the day, just not all that impressive seeing that we just have too much southwest wind being filtered into the area, bringing too much dry air in to really give us any high rain chance. But a couple of scattered showers, scattered thunderstorms throughout the area probably favoring the southern half of the area for this evening before clearing out, setting up for a mostly clear night and Tuesday. So giving a look from the SPC, we are under a marginal risk for some severe activity now. I will say the main threat with these storms is just going to be some periods of some gusty wind. It's not going to be a high rainfall event, uh, not really expecting anything in the development of any hail, mainly just some gusty winds and some flashes of lightning, rumbles of thunder. That is about it. So as a whole for tonight, after we see those scattered showers and storms move out, we'll see some mostly clear skies for the second half of the night. Temperature is pretty on pretty much on the mild side down into the low to mid 50s. Got 51 degrees for high in Amarillo and wind staying slightly on the breezy side, still coming out of the west at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then we'll see those winds pick right back up for the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, likely a much drier day than what we're going to see today. Highs in the upper 80s, mostly sunny skies, winds back out of the southwest, bringing in more of that dry air. So high air temperatures and low dew points likely for the day tomorrow. The most noteworthy aspect will be likely um, the elevated fire risk for tomorrow. We are under a fire weather watch for the day tomorrow, likely going to be upgraded to a red flag warning here in the coming time. But seven day supercast got that 10 to 20 percent chance of those scattered showers and storms today. A warm and dry Tuesday and Wednesday, both days with highs in the mid to upper 80s. Then we're going to have a couple cold fronts that come through uh, later in the week. Wednesday night, this one's probably going to be a little bit on the weak side, cooling things down a little bit for our Thursday. And then Thursday, bringing in some pretty strong northerly winds with that second cold front highs on Friday in the upper 60s. And then lows going into next weekend could flirt with freezing yet again. So we're not completely out of the woods just yet with those sub freezing temperatures. This cold up front Thursday night could bring in some pretty chilly air. You see highs on Saturday barely getting into the 60s, likely similar to what we saw this previous Friday.